Hey guys, today I'm going to teach you how to do my aloe vera conditioner. Right now, I'm having my husband preparing the eggs because I don't know how to do it. And he's really good at sucking the yellow portion because you will only need the egg white, not the yellow part. Or you can buy liquid egg white from the store to save you the time. Now I got my egg white. You're going to need a measuring cup some glass beaker if you have them i'll put the description and the link in the under this video okay you're gonna need some fragrance i'm using sweet orange um quinoa protein hydrolyzed for making cosmetic bamboo extract wodiola hair active jojoba oil really good macadamia nut oil it's another good oil vanilla extract you can get that from the store i got it from walmart or the commissary i don't remember the burn relief gel and some vegetable glycerin there's more ingredient coming and then you're gonna need a pot to mix all your stuff there's no specific order i'm mixing everything like because they all gonna get mixed anyways it's not a formula it's just a recipe so there's no specific order the thing is, you need to pay attention to the measurement because those things, if you go on making cosmetic, I'll put the link in the description of this video. It is extremely expensive. To be frank with you, it costs less to buy a commercial conditioner rather than buying the raw ingredient and make it yourself. So make sure that when you buy it, you like, you know, measure properly. That's why I have those measurements. That's why I don't even, I can eyeball them now, but it's better to use the measurement so you don't spend too much. And I'm putting all my ingredients, okay? Um, I, as I said, I will explain what each ingredient is good for in the description of this video. But let me tell you, if you don't measure it, you're going to end up with too much. Um, you're going to need storage space if you don't have that. So please, please, please make sure that you pay attention to your measurement. You don't need a lot. That's my vegetable glycerin. So I'm going to put a little bit more because it's one of the main components for this um, recipe. And you, I buy that from, I don't remember. So the gel relief, you don't necessarily need to use that. Normally, I will use the aloe vera plant, blend it with some coconut oil and use that. But I didn't have time to do that. And this is the gel that they use like when people got skin burnt, like when you get sunburned. My husband used it, but because it's made with aloe vera, I decided to use it. But you don't have to. You can buy the aloe vera gel from cvs from any of the store but no worries everything will go in the description of this video because i'm not gonna have time to explain on that voiceover put some water you know because you're gonna need that to mix them well you to be frank with you don't put too much so you don't get too liquidy but put some for the mixture purpose that's carrot oil this oil, also, I got it from Making Cosmetic. Very expensive, but, you know, carrots need no introduction, okay? So, I put everything. I'm really bad at making voiceovers, and I feel like the more I make them, the better I will get. So, don't judge me, okay? Especially, I got a stupid accent. Anyway, cleaning my hands, and now I'm gonna use my hand mixer to mix everything together. I removed it from the table because I didn't want to shake my camera. I did that for about 10 minutes, you know, to make sure that everything mixed really well. You don't want clumps. You don't want hair in your hair because you're not going to fry your hair or anything, you know. So make sure that everything is mixed well. Now I'm going to add charcoal. Charcoal got a lot of good property, okay? And I will put what they are good for, but mostly it's a cleaning agent for your hair. I put it in there. And I'm going to mix a little bit more to make sure that the charcoal, like everything turns black, you know, <laughs> it's like invaded the privacy of the, the yellow was really pretty actually. Anyway, now you remember in my previous video, the hair, the pH of the hair is very acidic, you know, but hair product needs to be between the pH of four and five. So that's why I'm adding the a little bit of apple cider vinegar to increase the acidity of this mixture. And now because the thing um the 
liquid was not too thick i'm adding some air conditioner base if you don't have the air conditioner base you can buy xenom gum i will put the name and the link in this video to thicken your mixture but either or it will work i put the conditioner base because it's about to go in my hair and it's conditioner anyways and then i'm gonna clean my mixer and then voila that's how you make your little at home recipe quite expensive but your hair gonna thank you later and thanks for watching look at this thanks for watching